much for having me here today i'm going to show you about the redis inside docker extension which i built recently and i have a github repo here uh, where i have listed all this information redis inside is basically an entity uh, gui for redis so it helps developers to interact with your database and manage your data okay and this is quite popular uh, uh, especially for the developers who doesn't want to just go ahead and you know start with cli they want to quickly connect to the multiple databases and do some kind of an operation so redis inside is quite popular among the developer now what are the thing uh, if you really want to go ahead and build this from the scratch so i have a repo where you can clone it make build extension and install so what i have done i have already uh, i have already created a kind of a docker hub image or extensions image because extension at the end of the day it is basically a docker image and let me go ahead and show you how it works so right now if you see I can just say docker extension install and um, I can have I can put this docker image uh, my repo and the image name and say 1.13.0 once I do this it basically goes ahead and pull this particular image which is nothing but an extension and it will bring up uh, by default it will bring up a redis database as well as a redis inside extension so let's wait for a few more seconds now i have a docker version docker desktop version latest version 4.12.0 i can just go to the dashboard and i can see the redis inside with the logo and the first thing you need to do is you need to accept the license term because this tool automatically allows that now this particular extension comes with redis database so what i can do i can just go ahead and specify my ip address which is 192.168.1.13 this is a default port which you need to give and then any preferred name of the database i will say add database and now you can see here um, you will see a cli browser here there are different modules which are already enabled so as part of this redis insight what i have done uh, it's not just about the redis database it is also there are six to seven modules which i have enabled for this particular tool so i can show you quickly an example say set foo uh, and bar okay and then if i can say foo it will give me the information okay now these are the basically the keys how you are setting the key and value so i set the key as uh, the foo and the value as a bar and then i'm just getting those key as the key name as foo and it gives me the value so in the same way uh, there are other functionalities like memory analysis and profiler and all these things so um, these features basically comes with the redis insight so now uh, if you look at uh, if you really want to go ahead and uninstall it uh, i can still go ahead and click on uninstall and this should uninstall the extension yeah that's all and if you want more information i have updated the readme under the docker hub you can you, what are the steps which i have gone through all these steps are mentioned and also if there is any issue which has to be raised uh, already i have a uh, issues open as well as a pull request so if you really want to go ahead and contribute for this project definitely you are most welcome okay thank you